So here we are back at RE Performance with the uh, delightful Ricky Elder. Hello, Rick. Hello. Now, uh, a lot more progress has been made on that uh, R8 next to you. Do you want to run us through what's, what you've been doing to it, what's happened, what power it's running, yep. what plans you've got? So it's pretty much ready to go to VMAX on the 18th, I think it is. Um, so Pro Design Kit is all on, fitted up, release pins. It's got radiator relief up through the bonnet to help sort of airflow through the radiator. Um, so body kit's all on, done. Uh, the fire extinguishers plumbed in. Some of this has been done by another company called FW Motorsport that um, the client uses for a little bit more uh, FIA stuff. Because uh, this is going to time attack as well. Uh, what else have we done? Um, it's been back on a dyno. Uh, so we've got a race fuel map on it now, but I mean on pump gas, that sort of 0.8 bar is doing 1,000 horsepower. So it's not even trying and it's making 1,000? Yeah, 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 it's doing well. So we've got injectors and a fuel pump to go in it, because um, people are claiming 1,200 horsepower and stock fuel pump, and that's bollocks. Um, these, we're out of fuel pump, um, and it's as simple as that. So uh, race fuel map, fuel pump, big secondaries, and we'll keep going. Uh, what else have we got? Um, cage is taped up so it's not damaged, but the seats are in. Um, there we go. <clears throat> harnesses are all done. I mean, the dash is in. Even the aircon works. You know, 1,000 horsepower time attack car of air conditioning. Who'd have thunk it? Um, and I mean, even. No, it's on already. The rear view mirror is a 1212 Motec dash, so that talks to two ECUs. Um, so it's got a Motec plug and play kit on it. Map switching, rolling anti lag, all of the bells and whistles that you normally get with that sort of ECU. So, all the stuff that's going to be really useful for a, an event like VMAX. Yeah, I mean, so as you see it now, all that's missing is the front splitter, the rear diffuser, and the active wing. So, well, let's have a look at the business end then. So push performance twin turbo kit, um, operated billet basket clutch assembly, my built engine uh, with sleeve block, CP rods and pistons, head work, uh, yeah, it's had quite a bit, valve train has been done, um, we've done some bits of the gearbox, uh, super finished oil pump in the gearbox, super finished oil pump in the engine. World shortest exhaust, which is here. <clears throat> um, so it's got a, um, a secondary silencer system that slips on and then clips into these two holes in the crash bar. So you can't run the bumper when it's on, but it's got two big kicker silencers as well. So at least you can go and do track days and get under noise. Because <clears throat> um, with the open screamer pipes, um, when a wastegate's lift, it's just it makes a noise. <laughs> Um, it's pretty ridiculous. And again, this is all functional. It's built to be used on track. Yeah, yeah. But it can still be used on the road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he drove it to Newbury the other day. So um, he's got a, a property down in Newbury. He came, picked it up and drove it down there. So cruised down a motorway in it. With no rear bumper. No rear bumper. <laughs> Number plate zip tied to the crash bar. Good stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, brake custom wheels. Um, there's another set to go on it, which bring the offset right out so it fills the arches a little bit more. Um, but you're kind of balancing your tyres, so the slicks we can get wider, so the wheels can be wider. Um, but like, they're pretty big cut twos to, to sort of work with these wheels. Um, so it doesn't fill the arches perfectly, but the other wheels, it'll look pretty Larry. And again, it's built for functions, built for going fast Yeah, yeah, he, wants to, yeah. he wanted to be able to get in it and drive it to a Nurbo ring, and then the next weekend, get in it and go and do time attack. So, uh, and then this side, the seat's out of it, the fire extinguisher's off being serviced, um, but you can see a fire extinguisher controller in the centre console, you see a fire extinguisher bracket, so all custom floor, panels, um, where the seat mounts. So like that sort of race car fabrication bit was done by FW, like the seat brackets and, and bits and pieces like that. 
Um, it's got our custom data login loom on, so we've got a data hub. So those are all the different IO sort of, every last bit of IO out of the MoTeC. So that's all the spare plugs. And then that's how we talk to everything. So we've got one for slave ECU, one for master ECU, one for dash. Um, so everything goes through. I mean, it's even got CD changer in the middle. Yeah, everything. We've got the wing position out of the wing control unit into the dash. We can long wing position because it changes left and right. Um, it's a two axis wing. So not like the GT that you've seen where it's on one plane. Yeah. This moves left and right. Um, yeah, cigarette lighter works, you know, the media plug works, the USB media works. It's uh, it's about as hybrid as you get. So this should shake things up at VMAX with some of the, uh, the, the big money supercars. Yeah, 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 this should, this should, this should do quite well. So, and it'll be its first proper, its first proper outfit as well. I mean, a diner's all well and good, you kind of prove stuff, but yeah, make sure no bits fall off. <laughs> So I guess you're going along to that as well, Rick. You're going to be supporting. Yeah, I'll go and support that. Yeah. The project's just been way too big for me to sit at home and worry about it. So chuck the laptop in a van, drive up there, support him, make sure he's happy. Um, it's a long old time with your foot flat to the floor in six gear. So at least we can just build up to it slowly and we can keep on top of everything and make sure car's happy. So we can look forward to some, uh, some video content from the, from the event. Yes, if I don't record stuff on my phone, Davey will shout at me. <laughs> so. Yeah, Good stuff. Go. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, thanks for the update. No worries. And we'll uh, catch you again soon. See you in a bit.